No. Her reaction upstairs had been incited by shock at his callousness. She didn't have a problem working with the grisly find on her own. I'll take the best photographs I can, given the condition of the victim, and I'll mostly work off them. But I want to use the microscope on the tattoo itself, too. Make sure I don't miss any fine details. More at ease now, she slid out the slim digital camera she tucked into the side pocket of her laptop bag. A pathologist should examine the head before we consider removing the skin. She clicked on the camera. Have you got someone asking around the tattoo parlors? If they lucked out, she might have a clean photograph to work from. Yes. Snapping on a glove to replace the one he'd removed, he pulled the head out of the bag and stretched the skin tight over the man's cheekbone as she took a number of high-resolution shots from different angles. That should do for now. As he put the head down onto a tray and got rid of the trash bag, she set up her laptop and transferred the photos onto the hard drive. She was aware of Dimitri placing the head in the freezer, stripping off his gloves and cleaning his hands, her body alert to his every small movement. So when he appeared beside her chair without warning, the emotion he awakened was so bone-chilling, so vicious, parts of her mind just shut down. And when he lifted her hair off her neck to touch the sensitive skin of her nape, she... Noise. A shattering metallic crash. Words. The next thing she knew, she was standing several feet from Dimitri, a tall stool with legs of beaten steel lying on its side between them. A line of blood marked his cheek, but his eyes were focused on the door at her back. Out! Only when the door shut did she realize that someone had attempted to intervene. Sweat dampened her palms, beaded on her spine. Remember, she told herself. Remember. But the time was gone, a black spot drenched in the panic that was a vile taste on her tongue. I hit you. Raising his hand, he rubbed a finger on his cheek, came away with a dark red slick on his fingertip. Something about me seems to make women want to use knives. Oh, God. She looked down, realized she was gripping a blade in her hand, the tip wet. I don't suppose you'll accept an apology. It came out calm, her mind so shocked it was numb. Sliding his hands into his pockets, Dimitri said, no, but you can pay for your crimes later. Right now, I need what you can give me on this.